But the city's comeback and growing success is affecting the project's future. There have been attempts to bulldoze it, and arsonists have even torched some of the work by artist Tyree Guyton. Now, historic change is having an impact in the city. In tonight's exclusive Detroit 2020 report, after 30 years, the Heidelberg Project, headquarters and all, is being forced to pack up and move because it literally cannot afford to stay. This is Detroit's time. You see the beauty. You extract the beauty out of it. Heidelberg brought people from all over the world. It was a bridge builder. Now there are people who don't want to see that happen because what we're talking about is not things. Burn it up, we'll create something else. What we're talking about is recycling really the human spirit. If you don't know the history of the Heidelberg Project, trash or masterful treasures, you simply will not get the underlying meaning. If you drove down the street and you just thought, oh my gosh, what is this? But when we'd give a tour and you would learn that the shoes hanging out of that tree was a recollection of Tyree's grandfather recalling lynchings in the South. The education behind it was another piece that people miss. The city has bulldozed portions of Heidelberg twice until a judge intervened. And from 2013 to 2014, Heidelberg was set ablaze 12 times by the hand of an arsonist. Yet Heidelberg still stands. And the fires kept coming, I kept having more fire. And I said, I'm not giving up. I've been at this too long to give in now. So here we are. The Heidelberg Project has been headquartered here in Midtown for eight and a half years. This nonprofit educates kids Created and does community artist. outreach. This building is also their home, full of treasures, gifts, and memories. But now they're being forced to move. This building recently sold for $1.2 million. Tyree and his wife were hoping to buy it for $600,000. I have had my feelings, I had to divorce the space, and now I'm over it. I'm moving on. The revitalization of Midtown over the last three years is putting the squeeze on Detroiters who have lived here when it wasn't the hip place to be. We love that this area is being built up, yeah. but to be priced out yeah. is still. Yeah, I don't think people really understand the insensitivity, uh, the insensitivity of that. So they're packing up and moving by the end of the month. And so as we look at the people that are moving into communities and areas, what we're saying is we're all going to come to the table together and you're going to figure out and work with us in terms of how we're going to rebuild this city together. You will not do it alone because you can't because we're Detroit. The Heidelberg Project, as we've come to know it, is moving too, but only temporarily for a year. All of Tyree's art is being packed up and carefully moved to storage. I believe you have to go through the storms of life in order to, to understand the sunshine. The plan is to return to this block where the Heidelberg Project was born in 1986, where 90% of the people are living in poverty. But when you think of people coming into this space, that you've been in for eight and a half years, what would you like to see here if you're leaving it? Uh, them to make the best of it, to take what I'm leaving behind and to grow it. And now may be the time to do just that in the forgotten neighborhoods of the city as depicted in Tyree's many works of art. Carolyn, this is our time. This is our time to shine like never before. Tyree Guyton's wife is in charge of the Heidelberg Project. The Midtown headquarters will be cleared, as we said, by the end of this month. The Heidelberg Project itself on Heidelberg Street will take nearly a year to dismantle piece by piece. It will be put in storage, but they do plan to rebuild right there on that block. So we'll have to see how it looks. I know people have really pushed the question that is it art, but man, it attracts people, Dave. Absolutely. And